spotted off to the left hand side. It's a sea spider. If you zoom in right now. Oh yeah. A pair of them even. Yeah. yeah. Ah, cool. I see. I just assumed that was a brittle star. Yeah. And so what's a sea spider exactly? The sea spider are actually spider relatives, but this body uh, type is restricted to the to the ocean. You can find them in the shallows too. But they're typically very long limbed, sure. lanky, and they have this proboscis that they can stick into prey and basically slurp them up. <laughs> uh, or at least the gooey parts. Right. Those are pretty rare. I don't see those very often. We got one in the Galapagos last year and sent it to an expert. Yeah. Oh, to uh, have him identify it's all white. it. Yes, it really is like a giant daddy long legs. Oh, oh and it's you caught something. something. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's nice cool. Is he, is he eating something? Yes. <laughs> oh, so creepy. It is a very <laughs> creepy. like a <laughs> virus or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really nice sponge there. I like that sponge a lot. The white one. The one of yeah. the white one. And there was an octopus right below it. Yep. I know. And it looks like she has eggs too. Reminds me of the breathing holes of all the octopus. That's well, what do they? What do you call the breathing hole? Uh, they, well, it's part of the mantle, the mantle and the siphon. The siphon. That's it. Oh, look at those little. Uh, those are two worms, little feather duster. Yeah. Is that a galathead crab? Those look like a little galathead. So is all of this rock carbonate? Yeah, it, it certainly looks like it's got a thin veneer of sediment on it, but that's, I think, what we would expect in this area. Oh, get back in there. <laughs> Amazing sponge up there. It looks is, like yeah. possibly a coral next to it. We're able, right when we're able to, we'll just uh, take a zoom on that one. Yeah. Is that one we've seen before? Mm. Or is that a, like a vase sponge? Not I sure. don't think we've seen it on this dive yet. Looks like a bunch of barrel uh, sponges. It looks like ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the complex ear canal is uh -huh. you know, down there. <laughs> and a little polychaete in the background. It's really pretty. Yeah, so a sponge is a filter feeder, and it'll uh, you can see the marine snow gathering on that, that it'll filter and feed on. And is this this, oh, sorry, sentences. Is this th slightly more uh, fauna than you expected to see? Um, I didn't know what I expected. Um, I was hoping there would be this much fauna. Canyon walls are kind of known for this. Um, and this is certainly, I think, more than we were seeing in some parts of Astoria Canyon. So I'm pleasantly surprised and quite happy to see the kind of diversity. This is a Brisingid star, um, which is, uh, it's more like a brittle star, but um, it's more similar to a crinoid, crinoid than a lot of other brittle stars. So they use those little pinules on their legs for feeding. Mm. And so do they have an arm that's holding them to the rock face? Is that how that uh, works? No. Oh. They have some other method. Uh, I think the little hairs kind of pointing down are probably helping it grip. Looks oh, like exciting. a piece of lily. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's a lovely trumpet sponge there. And these are some of the bigger uh, specimens of the species that I've ever encountered as well. That's a trumpet sponge? What a great well. name. Nice shot there. Yep. Oh, wow. I'm surprised at how deep uh, the shrimp live as well. They just seem to be all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've seen a lot of them on this wall, both the red and then there's been a deep purple one as I'll well. Come out. Okay. Oh, and another Galatheid crab tucked in under that anemone. Oh, I think that's <laughs> one of those towers of egg cases. Oh, oh yep. Oh, snail yeah. egg. Yeah. Oh, that's a little different. I haven't seen any of the snails. No. Yeah. So I believe these towers, the snails very uh, intricate. produce them and then die. Wow. Their work is done. So what's the reason for it being a tower versus spread out? That's a good question. <laughs> Is there anything to gain from that? Question for evolution. Well, to keep them from getting buried by sediment, I think. Oh, that's a that's good that's point. That's a good answer, yeah. Yeah. We do expect that there's a bit of faulting that's caused the offset of this canyon. Oh, we're so about to get a ride along. <laughs> that crab looks like he's <laughs> trying to climb a sample. board. <laughs> Nav, if we get a sample here, this is 127. Roger that. Pretty squishy. No, that may be a rock. You think so? Yeah. 